Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'd like to talk about something very important. Actually, it's probably the most important thing that every Muslim should hear. And that is about Muslim unity. What do we need to do in order to bring unity among the Muslims? It doesn't mean that we all have to agree with each other's doctrines. What it means is to stop stabbing each other, stop putting uh, hateful words and pictures on the internet. Uh, right now we can see Muslims are slaughtering each other all around the Muslim world. How did it start? It did not start, okay, we can say the foreign uh, uh, interference was the cause of it, but nobody made us, forced us to go and kill one another, to bash one another. But we have to start doing something even on a smaller level, starting with me, starting with you. The one thing <laughs> to do is what not to do. What not to do is to put on the Facebook or on the social media or anything hateful things about other religions, other sects. If you don't agree with them, try to think about in what way you can bring awareness to them in a good way. If you think they're misguided, try to find a way to bring guidance to them in a good way without making them wrong, without attacking them, because I have seen both, so I've seen many sides and I've seen what hasn't worked and what does work. I just want to really encourage my brothers and sisters to tell you this is the time, this is the time when we have to consider unity among the Muslims the most important thing because this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from, from us. Hold on to the rope of Allah, all of you, and do not separate. Is this not the command of Allah? Did we make this up? This is from the Quran, the book of Allah, the only holy book that has never been changed. All the Muslims agree with it, no matter what sect we're in, we all agree with this. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells, telling us, you know, in the old time, the Sahaba, the, the Muhajirin, the, many people, they were killing each other because of Allah, because of Islam. They came together, they became a powerful nation and they ended up nearly conquering the world because they were together. They only fell apart when they started, you know, going after wealth, after power, after fame, after glory. They started arguing with each other, fighting within each other, fighting other people whom they called enemies. And it has continued ever since and now it has gotten even worse. It has gotten really out of hand. So. I just like to advise first myself to be very careful what I read. The things that I read that's hate, hateful, I put a message for them, advise them not to post something like this. Or if by myself, if I have if I have any good information that would bring unity, I would put it up on the social media. And I ask my brothers and sisters to really consider this as a very important factor and think about what it is that you can do that you can even bring us one step closer to a unity. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum.